and welcome to Marvel Snap. Now this is something new on the channel. It was globally released last night and we played it on stream. A lot of you who will watch my stuff for WWE Supercard will absolutely love this game. I promise you, you will love it. It's amazing. It's made by uh, the people apparently that have something to do with Hearthstone. So if you're familiar with that, you might kind of know what's going on here. We played it last night on stream. I will be streaming it more and more in the future going forward as well. And I'm going to try make some content on it here. So what is the game? Well, I played it as you can see a lot. I am currently collector level 47 and rank 23. Now, as you get up collector levels, you unlock more and more cards. It seems very free to play friendly. The first thing I will say, make sure to collect your um, shop rewards if you're uh, getting it off Android store, getting it off Apple store, whatever you're getting it, make sure you go and get it right now. Marvel Snap, I'm not sponsored or anything, but I genuinely think all of you out there who watch me for WWE Supercard will absolutely love this game. We already have a section set up in the Discord for it. It's going down so well. Everybody is absolutely loving it. I'm going to show you a bit of the gameplay in today's video. I might even open up this Captain America card. But first and foremost, let me show you my collection so far. So all your favorite Marvel superheroes and villains will be in this game. As you can see, there's different variants of them. So I like have two different Hulk, for example. I have an Odin. They Some of them have special abilities, and that's very, very important. You want to pay attention to those special abilities. The other thing you can also do is you can have multiple types of decks. So each card has a value. So you see the blue blob? That is how much energy it costs to summon a card. And I will explain that as we go into the game. And then the orange one is how much power that particular card has. And then obviously, like I said, individual cards will have special special abilities and you have to play off those abilities to get the best possible results for your squad so let's go in if you've not already played this i know a lot of you will be able to play this maybe when the beta came out of it i'm completely new to this so if you have any advice for me please let me know down below in the comments make sure to hit a thumbs up by the way subscribe if you're brand new to the channel tune into the twitch where i'll be streaming it later on today i'll put all those links down below including all the social media and the discord if you want to join us over there but it starts off like this you have six turns um, and you get different variant arenas and even the arenas can have special abilities so the daily bugle here gives you a copy of a card into my deck so as you can see now the problem is, each turn, you get that amount of energy for that turn. So as you can see, end turn, um, and I see the little timer, see how it's going darker, darker, darker. You, you have until that runs out to go. But I only have one energy, so there's only one card right now I can summon, and that has to be Quicksilver. I advise you to put someone like Quicksilver in your deck, because you're guaranteed to get him immediately. Um, this up there, I won't tell you guys about that until we actually need to use it, but that is very important. Um, but I won't bother telling you until we need to use it. Now, I have a bit of a problem here, because as you can see, the next round is two energy. I don't have a card worth two energy right here. So I'm in trouble. I Oh, that's okay. Now, Titan. Six cost cards cost one less. That's absolutely fantastic. That means I can summon my Hulk for one less. Now... Medusa has an ability on her card. If I click it, if this is in the middle location, she gets plus two power. So she goes into the middle location. Simple as that. Then I end my turn. And then the next round, I can call this Captain America for three um, energy. Now, they have a Wolverine. As you can see, when this card is destroyed or play at a random location... Um, that's the first time me seeing the Wolverine card, but literally everyone you can think of is in this game. Trust me. Um, now, this arena is Jotunheim, and after each turn, cards here lose one power. So if you know what this is, it is from, obviously, Thor. Um, now, I'm going to see what Captain America does. Your other cards at this location have plus one power. I'm going to try out Captain America into the middle here with Medusa. And then next round, I get a bonus on Jessica Jones if she's played in this arena on her own i get a bonus for that uh, she will double up in power so i'll show you her ability but as you can see the energy and the cards you can summon depend on what energy you have now i could i could summon jessica jones and summon her over here okay that would give me double health which would give me six not eight mr fantastic though has the ability that if you place him adjacent locations get plus two power so i would get mr fantastic in here which would give me two this would give me four total in here and then two here so i'm tempted to do mr fantastic and i'm going to do that 
just to show you guys what you can do. And I'm also going to place Nightwing here. Because, or sorry, Nightcrawler here. Not Nightwing, bloody hell. That's DC, not Marvel. But Nightcrawler has an ability where you can move him one turn or one time during the game. You can't move any other card during the game unless you have a special ability to do so. But that's quite handy with um, using uh, Nightcrawler for that. Because you can kind of move him and move in better cards and stuff like that. And certain cards work well together as well. So you kind of have to keep track of who you have. Morph here... I can use Morph and he can literally um, be the same, or sorry, he can morph into one of their cards. He morphs great. I'm going to decide to use Hulk here. Hulk gives me plus 12 power. I'm going to go straight over here with Hulk. Straight over here with Hulk. Bosh. I'm also going to do this. This snaps. That means I get bonus points if they agree to snap as well, that is. But they could also choose to retreat, which means they lose a little bit. But they don't use as much, or lose as much if they're lost. So, as you can see, they decided to snap as well. I've got my Hulk over here. So, I am now winning two arenas. They're winning the left one. The bit of advice I would give is go for two arenas. Do not try to win all three. You simply won't. You only need to win two to win. Simple as that. Now, this is the final round. So, the smart play here would be, I think I've won this, would be to go over here with... Nightcrawler, move him. Iron Man, his ability is to double the uh, health at the location. Or double the power at the location. So I'm going to go in here with Iron Man like this. Am I? Professor X would lock down. He locks down a specific arena. But I'm going to go here with Iron Man. End turn. Final turn. That will give me 26 here. 11 here. Unless they put like a few cards down here. I'm hoping I'm okay. But a Hulk down here would destroy me. But they've got Hulk here. So just as well I used the Iron Man here. Because I doubled up like I said. And I've got the victory. 24 to 13. 11 to 0. And they won the first one. Again. You don't need to win all three. You only need to win two out of three to guarantee yourself that win. But honestly, I am really, really loving this game. And you can upgrade cards. Now, the upgrades appear to be visual, but you can also get other variants where the cards are more powerful. So, I'm going to show you the upgrade here. I have a Professor X. We're going to upgrade him to what's called a Frame Breaker. So, these blobs here you get by winning games. The, the um, tokens you can get through the store or you can earn them just by playing the game i've actually not had to buy a single thing in this game yet and as you can see frame breaker professor x is now mine i will show you some of the other types of cards just to give you guys an idea but as you can see i now get 25 credits this is completely free i didn't play pay for any of this but i'm almost at level 50 you get mystery cards as you go up so your cards may not necessarily be the same as mine so i got like you can see a squirrel girl a doctor strange an iron fist a morph and a uh, hulk buster a professor x forge they might be completely different than what you get um, in yours. I know a lot of people have got different cards than me, but if I go to next, I'm going to play another one because I'm going to try to get a win to get a mystery card for you guys. Um, but if I go into my deck, I'll quickly show you uh, in my collection that we have different types of cards. So for example, we have this Hawkeye, which is one of the 3D uh, cards. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Uh, then we have the Jessica Jones, which is also a 3D card pretty cool um i'm trying to think which other designs they have i really like this thing one that's one of my favorites i just think it looks awesome but if you even check in the store um which is over here you can actually if you're that way inclined obviously you can pay to upgrade some of these cards you can also pay to unlock some of these cards so for example i could unlock this variant the wolfsbane which is amazing by the way card art looks amazing that white tiger card art is amazing as well and also dr strange uh 8 bit is fantastic these seem to change every day by the way so that's awesome i really like that quicksilver card and i was actually thinking about getting it but i don't think i'm going to i'm gonna lose it but uh, i'm gonna leave it but i love that you can fast upgrade cards over here as well so you don't always get a guaranteed upgrade but you can fast upgrade this is available every few hours as well make sure you're claiming that and then obviously you can purchase gold down here but again i've not purchased a single thing on this game yet but let's go into another game and let's hopefully get enough this time to get ourselves a mystery card now your deck is very important you kind of have to balance your deck there's different styles of deck i'm very new to this so i'm not i'm not of the ability to give you a full breakdown on what deck is the best deck but I'm sure you guys can maybe help each other out in the Discord with that or even help me out. We can need a Valir over here. Um, cards here have plus 5 power. Well, that's fantastic because if I play Hawkeye over here, he gets... Um, what's his ability, sorry? Is it double his... He gets here next turn plus... Two, if you play a card here next turn, plus 2 power. So I'm going to go here with Hawkeye. 
which is going to give me a huge boost to the next guy at this play there because it's also going to get plus five power so hawkeye goes in again First round, you get one energy to use. Second round, you get two, so on and so on. Now, some arenas will give you actually more energy. So it can be very useful. There's also some arenas that can be very damaging. And uh, we kind of have to explain the arenas as we see them. So we get the Strange Academy here. If we click it, we can have a look at the Strange Academy. And I can tell you guys what it does. Because this one's interesting, the Strange Academy. After turn five, move all cards here to other random locations. That's very strange. Now, I'm going to go with medusa in the middle because obviously she gets that boost by being in the middle so we're going to use medusa in here and that's going to be our card for that turn and then i have mr fantastic for the next turn which is also going to help us because he's going to give us two in each level now they've just played a sentinel sentinel is quite powerful he immediately draws a copycat of a sentinel into your deck so you can use two sentinels if you want it. uh so the uh when you play i just butchered that put into uh when you play a card here oh you want to avoid those I hate those. They shuffle rocks into your deck. It costs energy to summon rocks, but they have no attack. So they can be very, very frustrating because if you suddenly have two rocks down here, you kind of have to use them just to get rid of them and get them out of your deck. So I tend to avoid arenas that say they do that. Uh, that's your personal choice if you want to do that, but I, I tend to say, do you know what? I do not want rocks in my deck. I'm avoiding that. Now, the problem I'm having here is... I could, it, I'll summon rocks into my deck, but Jessica Jones gets a boost by being over here, so I'm, I'm going to do it. Because I have my Iron Man for the next round, and I'm hoping that I get lucky and still get my card that I want. So I'm going to do that. And I'm kind of looking at... Hmm. No, I'm not. To recall your cards and change your decision, do that. I'm going to go in here with Nightcrawler, and I'm going to go in with Quicksilver as well. I got a better plan. I am. I have energy left over. That's fine. You can afford to have energy left over. Obviously, they get plus health now by being in there. And they also get the boost from Hawkeye as well. So, as you can see, Nightcrawler. Do I keep calling him Nightwing, by the way? If I do, I apologize. I'm not meaning to do it. I'm up to 22 over here. The reason I didn't do that is because, um, over here, by the way, I, I don't want to risk of being stuck with rocks. I really don't. Now, their Rocket Raccoon gets a boost depending on how many cards I have over here. So, that's quite powerful. Iron Man is very useful for the fact that I can literally put him in and double my stats anywhere. So, I'm thinking of using Iron Man here. And that'll guarantee me to win here, I believe. Yes, we're doing Iron Man here, and then my 6, which is hopefully going to be Hulk, will go in the middle. I'm doing that. I'm ending my turn here. Although, that moves down to random locations, I've just remember. So, after this turn, this is going to move them over here. They've used a Forge, which again, gains attack, depending on how many cards you have there. They've used a Sentinel in the middle. So, we're all going to get moved over here. Interesting. Very interesting. We might be in trouble in terms of this one. So I have absolutely destroyed this arena. I've, I've won that. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now I go over here. I I don't lose my boost on Medusa, which is interesting. I'm currently winning this arena. I get a Wolfsbane. Now a Wolfsbane gets a boost depending on what she has over there. So if I take him out of here, by the way, I still have 43 over here. So I'm still winning. Remember, you can move him if you like. Now, Wolfsbane... Their special ability, plus two power for each other card you have in here, okay? So that would give me... Him being in here would be seven, four, two. That'd be 13, and then I'd get... I don't know if that's going to be enough to win that arena, to be honest. What I might do is play a morph here. No, play a morph back in my deck. Play a Wolfsbane here, and play a morph in the middle. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end turn... I forgot the snap. Remember the snap. Hopefully they snap as well. We'll get a we'll get a boost. And hopefully we can get the W from this one. So Morph will literally morph into a random card from their deck. I get the boost here with Wolfsbane. Uh, the rocks get drawn in, but it's too late for me to worry about that. I get a Jessica Jones to get in the more. Okay, they're going to win that one. But it's too late for them to win this arena. So I have won Arena 1 and Arena 3. They won the middle one. Absolutely fine. We got the win. Victory. 
Hopefully I've explained that well to you guys and you understand exactly what's going on. I don't think they chose to snap, so we don't get the boost, um, unfortunately, to be able to get another mystery card. But we'll go again until we have enough to get a mystery card. But again, I got 15 out of 15 play cards. I can go and claim a bonus for that, as you can see. There we go, fan dabby dozy. Uh, I'll claim those. I don't quite have enough to go up to, I think it's level 50 I need to get to, to get my next boost. If you check your collection, by the way, it will tell you which cards are available to boost, like this Hawkeye for me is available to boost, so I could do this Hawkeye right now. Upgrade, yes. There we go, that is the 3D version of this Hawkeye. Look how cool it looks, it looks amazing. Now, what does that do? Well, that gives me enough to now go and claim a mystery card, as you can see. Let's claim our mystery card, let's see who we get. Bosh, mystery card, mystery card, oh, I clicked the, I clicked the 50, I gotta click the mystery card, I got Scarlet Witch, one of the ones I really wanted, replace this location with a random new one, that can be very, very powerful, so, I will take my Scarlet Witch, she'll actually probably go into my deck, but, this has been Marvel Snap, let me know what you think, if you want to see more on it, let me know down below in the comments, let me know by hitting the thumbs up, the more you guys like it, the more you will see of it, um, I probably will open this Captain America pack that's in the store, but I'll probably do it on stream later, uh, so if you want to see it, jump into the streams, link for that is down below, hopefully you enjoyed this video, have a great day, I'll see you hopefully on stream later for more of this peace out don't forget action in the discord link down below have a good day goodbye